Another economic report on inflation came out today, as we've discussed. It is the PPI, the Producer Price Index. And guess what? It went up higher than expected. The inflation in our country under Joe Biden continues to spiral out of control here is exactly what happened. The producer price index, a gauge of prices received at the wholesale level, increased 0.5% for the month, higher than the 0.3%, the Dow Jones estimate. This means the producers of goods will simply just pass their increases on to us, the consumers. So everyone, get prepared for even higher prices than we're experiencing now. It's coming if you can actually believe that. Inflation under Joe Biden is sitting at around 20% throughout his presidency. It is a disaster. And he always talks about job numbers and this data point and that data point, but no one in this country can escape the impacts of inflation. And unless a drastic change is made, like, I don't know, say someone else running things, there is no relief in sight with this administration. Biden cannot get it under control. And how about this? According to the Federal Reserve Bank of St. Louis, the last time the United States experienced average price decreases, meaning deflation, was in 2009 around the Great Recession. It took a recession for prices to come down the last time it actually happened. Again, it is really nothing short of an economic catastrophe. Now, here was Biden when asked about inflation a couple days ago, completely out of touch. What about, I mean, but there's real pain. I mean, grocery prices are up. 30 percent, more than 30 percent uh, since the beginning of the pandemic. And people are spending more on food and groceries than they have at any time, really, in the past 30 years. I mean, that's a real day to day pain that people. No, uh, no, it, feel. It, it, it really is. And it's real. But the fact is that if you take a look at what the men people have, they have the money to spend. It angers them and angers me that you have to spend more. I don't think that people have the money to spend. I think people want to save their money or they're just barely getting by. That is so out of touch. The old days of living in America and having affordability, it's pretty much gone at this point. Former President Trump, he talks about it all the time, as he is typically always one step ahead of the game. He's warning us. He did so again in Wildwood, New Jersey over the weekend. Two weeks ago, I was looking at inflation numbers. They're devastating. They're country busters. When you have inflation, it breaks countries. And I'm talking about 500 years ago and 300 years ago, and they're country busters. And it's a tradition that you have here that's so incredible, but you're being busted by inflation. Everybody is all over the country. In the past three years, the average New Jersey family has lost $23,381 to the inflation tax. But instead of focusing on the inflation the Biden administration has gifted us or the border or wars breaking out under Biden's watch or the insanity, how about that, on college campuses, media outlets took the last couple days to try and dispute the attendance and significance of that massive crowd in Wildwood for Trump over the weekend. Here were just some of the headlines. Trump crowd size for New Jersey rally likely inflated by 200 percent to 400 percent. Your regular reminder, rally doesn't predict election results. Liberal media doesn't know what else to do besides try and downplay this moment. They've never seen anything like it before. Now, there's a debate, of course, on how many people could actually fit inside of that designated area for the crowd, which was full on the beach. But then there was the boardwalk crowd, the restaurants, the bars. They were all packed. People lining the streets to welcome in the former president. It was an incredible event, historic, that's a fact, it was record setting, and everyone knows it, they just don't want to admit it. We're going to talk to our next guest who knows a thing or two about what happened in New Jersey. Exactly, Katrina. and for more on all of that and everything that Bob was just talking about there with that massive rally over the weekend, we're bringing in the mayor of Wildwood, New Jersey, Ernie Troiano. Mayor, thanks so much for joining us. We understand that your wonderful town on the boardwalk by the shore had quite a big turnout over the weekend. I loved it with the roller coaster in the back. It was a lot of fun to watch. Uh, tell us a little bit more about your general estimates of how many people were there and what that's based on. Well, you know, it's, it's amazing the amount of the t attention this has gotten. Uh, when, people, when, when the critics asked me, uh, how many people were there? I said, more than one, uh, but a little less than 100,000 and one. Um, we, we were so busy putting the show on and making sure everything was done. 
we really didn't take account, but uh, we've been around large crowds numerous times. And I got to tell you, this was a lot of people, uh, not only in that area, but the boardwalk was packed. The motorcade uh, area was packed. Uh, the restaurants, the motels, uh, the boardwalk. There was a lot of people that came to me and said, listen, we are, um, we had tickets. We didn't go into the area because we get a little claustrophobic with that many people. So we stayed on the boardwalk. The restaurants that were on the boardwalk that had seating capacity were filled. There was people on roof areas. There was people surrounding the whole entire area. Uh, if the Trump organization tells me there's that many people there, they had a better figure uh, on seeing what was there. Again, we do a country western festival here, one of the largest in the country. Uh, we do 35, 40,000, and this area was comparable in size, if not bigger. Mayor, they also spent some money, I understand. Mm -hmm. The crowd that shows up for the MAGA rally, they're good to the businesses. Absolutely. In fact, the funny thing about it is uh, we asked our Hotel Motel Association, and they said the booking was up. We had two other big events. We had a car show in town and cheerleading uh, competition in town. So we're used to big crowds. But he said what was the, uh, the really interesting part the next day, we got numerous calls from England, Germany, Australia, because they saw this uh, event happening on TV, which means his impact is not only nationally, but internationally. So we're excited uh, to have had him. I asked Jeff, I said, do me a favor, Jeff, please reach out to the president. Just tell him we'd like to have him come back. This time we want to do it Wildwood style. We want it on the beach. All right. Well, a quite a big weekend, and you got another one, big one coming up, Memorial Day weekend, quickly approaching. And again, I just love Wildwood, New Jersey. Definitely love a it. slice of Americana. Mayor Ernie Troiano, we really appreciate you for being with, with us. Thank you so much. It's our honor, and please come on down. Okay, Will absolutely. Do.